Hey, it's Dave here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Olama on your existing Windows PC, the one you already use every day, and integrate it into Home Assistant so you can run a local LLM right at home. You don't need a spare PC or dedicated Linux box for this, but just using your normal desktop and making it available to Home Assistant on your network. Once it's set up, you'll be able to use it with things like AI tasks, conversation agents, and even LLM Fission. We'll start by installing Olama, then connect it to Home Assistant, and finally, I'll show a few quick examples to confirm everything's working. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I don't actually have a spare PC with a modern GPU lying around to run as a dedicated LMM box. And as I know, a lot of Home Assistant users are in the exact same boat. Most people don't have a spare two, three, or even four thousand pounds or dollars just sitting around to build a high-end AI machine. Just so you know, what I'm running this on is my everyday Windows desktop. I've got an RTX 4060 Ti with 8 gig of VRAM, an AMD Ryzen 5 7600X, 64 gig of RAM, and two terabyte NVMe SSD. Nothing too extreme, just a mid-range gaming or workstation build. And if there's enough demand, I can temporarily treat this PC as a spare machine, install Linux on top of it, and make a separate video to show how to install Olama in a Linux environment and run it as a standalone LMM machine. This video is really aimed at the casual Home Assistant user who just wants to experiment with Olama or local LMMs without spending any extra money. The only thing to keep in mind is that your Windows PC will need to stay powered on while Home Assistant is using it. So depending on your setup, it might not be ideal for everyone, but for most people, this is a great way to get started and see what's possible. Okay, let's switch over to my PC and get Alama downloaded. To install Alama, if you head over to the following web page, then from here, it's gonna give you the choice of operating system. So you've got Windows, Mac, or Linux, where it gives you an install command. In this example, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select Download for Windows. Once the download has finished, head to your Downloads folder and we're going to install Olama. I'm going to run it as administrator just in case it needs any additional elevated rights. If you click Install, Once that's finished installing, you should see a pop-up like this of the user interface for a Llama where you can start chatting. And in here, you've got a list of available models. Now, the model I will be using in this example is going to be Gemma 3 because it supports Vision. You'll notice where it's got Gemma 3 colon, it's then got a number with a B, which is referring to billion perimeters. The higher the number, the more accurate it's going to be but it's also going to take up more resources. So I'm just going to leave that mid-range one because it works quite well and it's fairly lightweight. And if you did need to install another model, you can just hover over here and then click that download button and wait for it to install. At the moment, I haven't actually downloaded any. So if I was to type a message, I'm going to get some sort of a prompt asking me to download the model. So I'm just going to show you what happens when I do that the first time. So I'm just going to click send. And you can see there it's just downloading the model. And then eventually once it's installed, the chat is going to start working. Now, for some reason, when you try to upload an image, you get a message like the below where it says this model does not support images. And in this example, I can 100% say that Gemma 3 does support Fission. You might just need to restart Alama because it's the first time you've installed the model. 
And I think it's just got a little bit confused and it hasn't properly reloaded the model to recognize it is one that supports fission. So just close the llama down, reopen it, and I'm going to demonstrate describing an example image. To close the llama, if you just click on the X here, and then to relaunch, if you click on this up arrow, hover over a llama, and then just select open a llama. Now that that's back open, I'm just going to attach an image and ask it to describe it. This is a copy of the example image for you to see just before I ask it any questions. So now I'm just going to click enter. And you can see it's given me a nice overview saying the image shows a partial view of a modern light colored kitchen and then it's listed some of the elements that it can actually see. So we know that works. Now I'm going to show you some examples of how to use a llama via command prompt. So from Windows search, you type in CMD, launch command prompt. And now from here, if you type in Olama, and then just add help after the end. It's going to give you a list of various available commands that you can use. If I just clear the screen, and I'm just going to run a llama list. This will show you the models that we already have installed, which has got Gemma free, and then it's 4 billion perimeters. So if you want to run that, you just type in Olama run, followed by the name. Now, if you want to get a list of various available models that you can download and install, if you go to alama.com and if you just select models, from here, it's going to give you a list of various models which you can scroll down and find, or you can do a search. So if I just search for Gemma, you can see there's various models. And if I just click on that top one, here you can see the run command to use Gemma free, and it's got a list of other different variations. If I just go back a step, if I just click on this one here, Again, you've got the run command and a list of the variants. So when you type in run, you just specify this name that you want to install. Now, just to clarify, when you run a llama run and you don't specify a specific model from that list. So for example, you just run a llama run GPT hyphen OSS. It will default to the latest version, which is this one here. So just something to watch out for is you may want a slightly lighter weight model. And if that is the case, then make sure you run the command alarm run and then specify word for word of which variant of that model you actually want. So as an example, I'm just going to copy that command and then go back into command prompt. I'm just going to exit that existing chat by pressing control C and then followed by control D. And you can see in this example, because I don't already have it installed, it's automatically going to download it and then launch it. Okay, let's cancel this chat. Clear the screen and I'm just going to launch Gemma Free and ask it to describe an image from command prompt. Now, if you forget the models you already have installed, just a reminder, it's a llama list. And then Alarma run, and I'm just going to type in that Gemma exactly as it's listed. Now, because the example image I'm using is in this location, I'm just going to right click and do show more options, select properties. And then from security, I'm just going to copy the file name and path. Then go back into command. 
and I'm going to type the following command, use, paste in that directory where the file is. Now, if that file name did contain spaces, let's just say it was kitchen space like that. If you just add some quotes, it will just solve the problem with it not finding the file name. But in this demonstration, there's no empty spaces, so I don't need to do that. So I've typed in use, reference the path, and now I'm just going to ask it a question. Can you describe the image? Press enter. And it should return a similar result to what it did when I was using the user interface. Which it has. So that's looking good. Now, just before we integrate Olama into Home Assistant, we need to expose it to the network. If you click on the up arrow and right click on Olama and do its settings, just make sure you check this box, expose Olama to the network. If you don't do that, then the following IP address that's running Olama followed by this port is going to generate an error message like this example saying this site can't be reached. I'm just going to expose it by checking that box. Now if I refresh this page, it should work. And you can see here on the top left, it's got Olama is running. All right, now that Llama is running and we've exposed it to the network, let's jump over to Home Assistant and start integrating it. From Home Assistant, if you go to Settings, then go to Devices and Services, and click Add Integration, and do a search for Olama, and select the top one. Now this is the URL I showed earlier when it said Olama is running, so I'm going to paste that in, then select Submit, and you can see that is successful. And now from here, I can add a conversation agent and I can add an AI task. I'm just going to select add AI task. And I'm just going to put Olama at the end. And for the model, it needs to be one of the models that I've installed. And you can see here, you've got Gemma Free 4B downloaded. So we'll select that one. The rest of these settings, I'm pretty much just going to leave as default. And now I'm going to click Submit. That's looking good. While I'm here, I may as well add a conversation agent for those of you using Home Assistant Voice. Again, I'm going to change the model to one that's already downloaded. I'm just going to leave everything as default. I'll check the box Assist, and then click Submit. So now we've added the conversation agents and the AI tasks, which will use Olama. And now we're just going to quickly integrate it into LMM Vision, for those of you who have that installed. I've not made the full LMM Vision video just yet, but it's coming out very soon. And once it's out, I'll pop the link in the description for you. So if you go to Settings, Devices and Services. Now if we just search for LMM Vision, I'm assuming you've already got it installed and perhaps you've got OpenAI as one of the existing entries. We're now going to select Add Entry, change this to Olama, click Submit. The IP address again is the IP earlier I showed. And that's just minor support because it's already specified below. Make sure the model is the one that you've already installed. Gemma Free is one of the models which supports Vision, so that's a perfect choice. And then I'm just going to click Submit. And now we've added it to LMM Vision as well. Now to use Alama with the Home Assistant Voice, if you go to Settings, 
then go to voice assistant and if you select add assistant and under conversation agent you should now see that one I created which is Olama conversation which you would select here I don't want to go into too much detail on these settings in terms of adding an assistant because when I did my home assistant voice video I covered this in detail already and the purpose of this video is really just for the integrating alarm into home assistant for you to then take advantage of. So if I close that window now I'm going to create two actions. One action using LLM Vision with Olama and also an AI task that uses Olama. If you go to Developer Tools and go to the Actions tab, I'm just going to clear that screen. And I'm going to put this in UI mode just because it's a little bit easier to explain. So I'm going to type in LLM and we're just going to use Image Analyzer. Provider is going to be this Alama one I've added. I'm just going to leave that as it is so it would default to Gemma Free. For the prompt, I'm just going to say, what can you see? I'll uncheck those two. I don't want to remember it or use memory. And I'm just going to very quickly use an image entity of one of my cameras. So I've got one here of the kitchen. I'll leave the rest as default settings and I just got to make sure I check include file otherwise it will not work. Now I'm going to select perform action. And you can see there it gave me some details of that picture. And that's um, the picture it's referring to. So that works. Now we're going to pretty much repeat exactly the same steps, but as an AI task. So if I go back up, type in AI, and I'm going to use the generate data, which is this one here. For task name, I'm just going to call it demo. Really doesn't matter what I call it. Instructions. I'll make it exactly the same. What can you see? Entity ID is the provider. And it's this one here, Alama AI Tasks. And then the attachment, I'm just going to pick a media file. Go to camera. And I'm just going to use that kitchen. So it's the same image. And now I'm going to select perform action. It's already showing the previous action from earlier, but it should be slightly different. So if I click on that, just wait for it to run its processes. And you can see there it's done it. It's got, okay, let's break down what I can see in the kitchen. And it's got standard kitchen layout with cabinets, a black kettle. So that has also worked using Olama. Now, for those of you who are interested, I'm just going to run it exactly again, but this time I'm going to use OpenAI instead of Olama. So I'm selecting this one here, going to click Perform Action, and that's probably about the same time in terms of speed, but maybe the actual analytics and breakdown in, in terms of information is a little bit more detailed. So that's Olama running locally and fully plugged into Home Assistant. If you want that follow-up video where I temporarily switch this PC over to Linux and show the standalone LMM setup, let me know down in the comments. Smash the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe to receive notifications when more smart home automation tutorials are available. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.